Learning, definitely, that's for sure. It'll be a process. Say hi, goats. No? Now you're shy? Oh, there you go. Hey there, welcome back to the homestead. Today, I'm gonna move the goats. This uh, We've had the goats for about a week now. We put them in the backyard here just to kind of get them used to, or actually us, used to goats. <laughs> and it seems like uh, we can handle it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna move them around the front of the house where there's more brush and uh, more grass to eat. Uh, I guess I should introduce, we have, I don't actually know which one's which, the kids named them, um, but I know that Echo, Still, and Husqvarna, that's what I'm calling them, because they're my weed eaters. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to start moving the, the goats. What we have here, this fence that they're in now is a 164 foot section. I have one more of those and then I also have a 100 foot section. So let me let me show you what we're doing over here. You good, Joseph? Yeah. Good, okay. <clears throat> so here's the plan um, right now. The goats are down there making noise where that box is. Um, what I'm going to do is I've kind of weeded a path. What I've learned is with the first video I did with the gate is that you need to weed eat underneath it because it does uh, arc out and start to lose energy over time. So as you can see, I kind of weed eat a path that goes down there in between the orchard and then I'll have it meet up to the uh, chickens. And then on this side, I'm debating if I just end it in the corner of the garden here and then start at the corner and then go back down or if I just make a big loop. But basically they'll have all of this. Here's what we're gonna do, Joseph. Ready? Yeah. We're gonna take this white fence here and we're gonna go that way with it, okay? This way? Yeah. I got you. I got a star. Hey, Daddy. Oh. I do. Oh. I don't do things that. Bleh. Bleh. They kind of stick their tongue out, though, huh? Yeah. Bleh. Can you do it? Bleh. Bleh. For the chickens, they love it. Yep. Tickle, tickle, day. Mm. Oh, open the fence. Not yet. We gotta finish the gate here. Watch. Why don't you try putting this end in there? Okay, so learning, definitely, that's for sure. It'll be a process. What's going on here is that fence to that fence over there, yeah, you can see it, is about 92 feet. The section of fence that I have to go in between these two is 164. So I wanna use up everything that I have. So what I've done is I've weeded another little path down there below the uh, other fruit trees. And I think that that's gonna give me a little bit more space to have the goats hang out. So what I'm going to do, roll up this fence again and then move it around the trees and come back up this way. 
um, yeah, once I do this the first time, then I'll know, okay, this is my path and this is the best way to get where I'm going. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so got the fence mostly up, except for the last section that the goats are in right now. So I gotta move the goats before I can put it up. Um, what you can see, it's kind of sagging in some spots. Uh, this is kind of rough terrain around here, so I got some work to do. I'm gonna use the fiberglass and plastic posts. Uh, one of the things I noticed is these stakes. I got this one at the place that uh, supposedly has tractor supplies and doesn't really work very well for this situation. I'm sure it works well for whatever it's made for, but not for this. So put that in your pocket to kind of hold it up in spots and see if I can't stretch it some. So let's get to it. Oh, I in oh you're in there. I'm out there. <laughs> So this here is an old firewood rack that I made. Uh, oh gosh, probably in my beginning videos, don't look, it's terrible. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna flip it over and turn it into a goat house. So let me try it out. For the most part, I think we're ready to do it to it. The goats are back here behind the house and there is another 164 foot section that I am going to use to go from that tree up on this little road that I weed eated to there. Um, the plan is to get the kids, uh, the wife, uh, leaf of alfalfa and some uh, dry, dry cob and we'll kind of try and uh, get the goats to do what we want and we'll take them all the way over there to the chicken coop and hopefully they'll be distracted, hanging out, eating alfalfa, um, eating dry, dry cob, and then I can put the rest of this fence together while they're distracted. If not, we'll see how it goes. There's only three of them. So. All right, Olivia, here's the trick. We don't give them any food until they get to the chicken coop.
that went pretty well. Uh, they started, it was, there was definitely some tension there. They started to come make their way towards me and I had to shoo them away, but I think they were just like excited to, to get a new place. I'm gonna button up the fence here and uh, charge it and then I see, I guess we'll see what's going on. The next goal is to let the chickens out of the coop and then they can hang out and do goat and chicken things together.